Hello and uh, welcome to another video in the series which attempts to answer the most frequently asked questions in Fantasy Grounds Unity. Uh, and this one is part two uh, of a small series of videos regarding the line of sight functionality that's in uh, Unity. Uh, in the last video uh, we looked at the various functions and in this one, we're going to look at actually uh, drawing some occluders onto a map. Uh, we're going to concentrate mainly on uh, doors, uh, walls, and uh, toggleable walls in this video. So, we need a map, and uh, we're going to use this one here for a very various reasons, which will become apparent uh, later. Um, we need to unlock the map and uh, add or select our line of sight tool. Um, now there's a couple of things uh, that uh, you can see in this uh, map right away. The first is that there are some very thick walls and secondly there are some where are, there are very thin walls. Um, now there is some debate on the uh, forums amongst people as well that uh, when you're drawing the uh, occluders for a wall then you should essentially draw the line in the middle of the wall. So. Um, for this wall here, for example, there are advocates that um, this is how you would uh, draw the occluder for this uh, section of the wall here. Uh, and that's fair enough. Uh, if that's the way that you want to go, then uh, certainly uh, do that. Um, that's not the way that I would recommend it for a wall of this thickness, um, but um, feel free to, to uh, follow your own uh, methods here. Um, so the, the way that I would um, do a wall like this uh, is that I would uh, draw around the outside of the wall um, and in the thin ones we would just have one line down the middle. We wouldn't attempt to draw uh, lines down both sides of the wall. But we are getting ahead of ourselves slightly because um, what I like to do when I'm uh, doing these things is to draw in the doors and any secret doors, uh, I like to do that first before I uh, uh, tackle the walls. Um, so let's have a look at that. We'll uh, select our uh, door tool and I'm going to use the uh, rectangle tool uh, for the doors. Now we're not going to do all of this map but we will add in some doors here. So um, I'm going to start uh, with this one and I'm going to draw the door in, in such a way that the uh, ends of the door, the top and the bottom in this case, are going to be more or less uh, in line with the wall uh, line that I will eventually be drawing. Uh, for this door here, I'm not going to make the occluder just as big as the door for reasons which will become apparent, so I'm going to uh, make it something like this. Um, and then this one here, I'm going to do something similar. And then we'll do this one here as well. And again, I'm going to start and end uh, right as close as I can on the uh, actual wall on either side of the door. And uh, that's all we need to do for the purposes of this video. I'm not going to do any more. Um, so we've got our uh, doors in and that's fine. So we can now... Uh, start thinking about the uh, walls. So we select our line tool and the wall tool. Now you could of course uh, select the rectangle and you, you could possibly put a rectangle in there but uh, you're going to cause yourself all sorts of difficulties trying to uh, get that to uh, match up with the uh, doors. So uh, I wouldn't recommend that either because we want the walls um, it, it's very important generally when you're doing occluders that everything uh, hooks up. You don't want any little gaps or anything like that. Uh, and if you use something uh, like the triangle there, then it's going to be very difficult to uh, get that exactly in line so that it's matching up with these uh, points on the door and these points on that door. So uh, the line is the preferred uh, method here. Um, so I'm going to uh, start... Uh, this point here um, and I'm just going to make my first point and then if I zoom in you can see this more clearly uh, I'm going to go along until we've snapped to this point in this door and make a point and then I'm going to go along till we've snapped at this point on this door 
and make another point. Then I'm really just going to use the arrow keys here uh, to uh, go over. And if I press uh, one press of the arrow key is approximately five feet. Um, and I'm going to come down here uh, for this wall. And then, as you can see, each arrow press is taking me five feet. Now this is fine if the scale of your map's right, but it might not always work out. But the easiest way to move around is using the arrow keys. Um, so we've got to this door here now. This one's going to be a problem, isn't it? Because we're not going to be able to uh, get a nice uh, clean line between these two uh, lines on the door. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to just draw my wall straight through this door um, and then I'm going to uh, make a point here and then a point at the end of that one, point at the end of this wall and then come up and just double click uh, to finish that section of the uh, occluder. Um, I can then start here again uh, where I left off and I'm just going to cut again straight through this door uh, cut up to this wall along down again I'm going to snap to this end point on this door snap to the next end point on the door and come along here and down and finish um, and that's it uh, that, that we've we've added occluders but of course we've got a couple of problems in that uh, these two doors here have also got a wall through them and if you remember in the first video I said that the walls prevented the token movement and obviously uh, it'll prevent this door from functioning properly as well so we need to get rid of this section of the wall that we have drawn which is uh, along the, the, the door so the way we do this is uh, we use um, our uh, delete and remove points tools uh, in order to uh, get rid of this line. First of all we've got to select our line tool and we actually got to draw another line through this one uh, any points to any points and just finish it and when we draw the line as you see when the lines cross it puts a point on the line that we um, had there already. We can then go into our edit tool, we can double click on any point or this point here preferably uh, for the little line we've drawn and then we press uh, delete uh, or we uh, press uh, delete points. Um, and what that does is it gets rid of that line but it leaves this point uh, behind uh, where we crossed, where the lines crossed. And if we select that now and then press the delete key, then that line disappears uh, along with, or the point disappears along with the line from that point to here and from the point to there. So therefore it breaks the wall and gives us just the door, which is exactly what we want. But it also means that the, this wall here is right uh, on the point. It's right on the line here. It's absolutely perfect. We have no little gaps uh, where the line of sight can leak through. If we were to try and end our wall exactly that on that line, it could probably be done, but it's tricky and therefore it's a lot easier just to draw the line straight through the door and then get rid of the line. And we can show you again on this one here. So we just go into our line tool, make sure walls are selected, uh, draw a line which crosses the one in the middle. Uh, we go into our selection, we double click to select the uh, line, press delete, uh, that leaves our little point here, select that point and then delete it. And we now have uh, perfectly aligned occluders, uh, everything matches exactly and uh, we have no leakage. Um, and these doors here where we had the thicker walls um, by putting a wall at the top and bottom of the door or the end of the door occluders uh, we're making sure that when the token is sitting halfway through the door they're not actually going to be able to see into this wall from the door. If we didn't have this wall uh, along, running along the edge of the door um, then when the token is sitting there then they would be able to see into the wall which is obviously undesirable. 
Um, now let's just uh, suppose for a moment that there was actually a secret door in here and we've inadvertently drawn a wall uh, where there should be a secret door. Um, now we don't really want to um, have to delete uh, everything that we've done to go back and do that because we, we could do that if we double clicked uh, like this point here. Um, that would select uh, all of the points that we've drawn on this uh, line and it would delete everything. But we don't really want to do that. Uh, we actually want to just uh, make a break in this line and add in our secret door. Um, so there's a couple of ways we can do this, um, but let's uh, select our rectangle tool and our wall tool. Um, and then we are just going to draw um, a rectangle uh, where our secret door is going to be. And, and once again, as you can see, this has made points uh, on the wall. So this is going to be the points that we want to uh, break. Um, so again, we can uh, go with our uh, line tool and do the same kind of thing of just putting a line across there, select it, uh, double click here, delete that and delete that. And that's now uh, deleted uh, all of the points in the middle. But of course, we still have the uh, rectangle here, which we want to get rid of. So we're going to double click that. And this time we're just going to remove points. And that removes the uh, rectangle that we drew as our guide. If we deleted the points, it would have also deleted these and would have deleted much more than we wanted. But the remove points in this case is what we want. We can then go into our toggleable wall tool, uh, select our line, and then we can draw in our secret door by clicking here, snapping to here, and finishing. And we have um, a perfectly aligned uh, secret door, uh, which we can uh, use uh, in our game. Uh, now we may have noticed that we have um, missed out a bit of wall here. We should have at least come up here or we should have done something, but we've missed this bit of wall. Um, so we are having to go back and draw that in. So again, we select our wall tool and our line tool. Um, now again, we could zoom in and try and get our point just right on the line. But it's a lot easier just to start the line uh, beyond uh, the uh, wall occluder there and just go down and then cross this one as well. Double click to finish. And once again, we can get rid of those points just by simply uh, going to our selection tool, select the odd points that we don't want uh, and delete them. And we've got a perfectly matched up uh, occluder. Um, so I think that's it for this video, um, and in the next one uh, we will uh, look uh, at the terrain uh, occluders. So thanks for watching, cheers for now.